So hey everyone, please let me know that you can hear me in the chat. <clears throat> so can you see and hear well? Plus minus, if there's any issues, let me know. So that's one. Then the other one, the other thing is I will immediately add template to this video. So in the description, you should have a template and also now here in the chat. So I see two pluses, that's great. I see Christiana and Rohit. Hopefully somebody else will also join. So today we're gonna uh, talk about the SQL and the um, implementations in Node.js and uh, some very simple stuff based on um, SQL Lite. Basically, there are different flavors, different um, different different uh, systems for for SQL that are used, um, uh, but they are primer they basically using the the same language for all of those uh, systems. There are some differences, but not 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 like a huge differences. Um, so um, yeah, let's wait. Maybe somebody else will join. Please get the template as well. So the SQL, it means Structured Query Language. I don't think anyone calls it that, but SQL. So then um, some of the platforms that you would use is one is SQL Lite. So that, that is something we will use today. So this is a, a file-based based database. <clears throat> then um, very popular is one is called MySQL, but uh, it's not as good as uh, uh, PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL. So uh, there are just few few that you can then find yourself. So that is that. And then from the high end, uh, which is uh, enterprise solutions, mostly only. Those, so there is the Oracle. Um, PSQL, I think it was called something like that. And then uh, Microsoft SQL and SQL or something like that, SQL Server. So, but th those are not that commonly used <coughs> if you're not working in huge enterprises. So for, for the uh, most cases, uh, PostgreSQL is, is the um, best one. It handles the best, the large, uh, large databases uh, and the large structures. It's a relational database. So there are also different, completely different direction where you could uh, work with file-based um, databases like uh, MongoJS or similars. But there, there are also a lot of drawbacks, a lot of problems to those databases as well. So we'll st start by using uh, some of the most simplest ones regarding the SQL. So here, <clears throat> yeah, so I, I shared already the, uh, the uh, link to the template, so please get that one. Also, please get the tool for testing the uh, REST's HTTP REST. So uh, maybe I can share it also here. You'll probably not be able to copy it very well, but I will share it also in the chat. So please get also a very popular tool which is called Postman. So, uh, so some time ago it was Chrome plugin, now they have separate app because I, I guess it's so popular. So Postman, so this is for testing uh, APIs. So basically testing HTTP based, based REST services. So <clears throat> we are right now actually building this. So we're building the, uh, the Node.js uh, server, which handles those requests. So please get that app as well. And please get the template, which I shared already in the chat as well. And uh, yeah, and then we will move on to those things. So meanwhile, while you're getting the templates and things, I will, uh, I will take a look on some of the homework. So uh, yeah, so type in plus when uh, template zip and uh, postman acquired 
<clears throat> so I will wait in chat when you, when you type in those things. And meanwhile, I will look at the homework and make some comments maybe. So let me see. So let's look at Christiana's work. So mostly the backend probably. So what has been done here? Mm -hmm. So I see one plus in the chat. Let's look at this. So we have async function main, which writes some records into CSV file, right? And then loads those records. Then there is get scores. So it seems almost nothing changed from my original template. Maybe there is something which I don't see, but it doesn't look like that there is something changed. So anyways, we could maybe just check if it works. So actually great that Christiana did not include no uh, modules inside the, the uh, delivery, because that's true. You don't need to include node modules as right now I also did not include them. So let me see. So what is it working actually, or maybe there is some bug there. So CD here. Uh, and uh, so, to, by the way, when you when you get uh, my new package, please open here in the bottom part terminal. Then go to CD to this this uh, new tutorial, right? And then when you're inside there, then type in npm e, and uh, it means it will install automatically all of the uh, the necessary modules for uh, for that project. So I will maybe drop drop this line also to the jump board already. So that's the first thing you need to cd inside the correct directory. So cd to the directory. And then install the modules. So at least I see that two people are up to date with this. So I'm copying the the commands to the slide number two. And meanwhile, we'll try to see if I can run Christiana's work. So start, okay, it seems like that this is working. So I guess there is just not too much progress done here. So hopefully uh, when you will see how it's done today, you will be able to complete better the next homework. So uh, there is not nothing much in the back end. What is in the front end? So let me see the front end part. Do we have anywhere local? So there is something Axios post. Mm, yeah, not, not much done also here on this end. Anyway, so if Christiana had some have some com questions regarding the code, please let, let me know. So okay, let's as there was no progress actually much in the, the code, maybe she sent me wrong folder, it's also possible. Then uh, let me check some other code as well. So I will check now Everts code and then we will move on to, to actually looking at what we have here in the new session. So where is the Everts code? Okay, let me look there. So, Everts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two files, fine. I don't need any more, anything more. So there is the CSV stuff. So get score, let me see. Wait, so this is a function call from file, fine. There is a sort function here, which is built in JavaScript. By the way, uh, if you need some extra functions, remember that like sort, filter, and other functions are available in Lodash library. The Lodash library you also can access from Node.js. You can just uh, npm uh, add the Lodash library. So remember that is very useful. You can use it also on the back end. So for example, like something like slice or things like that. So, and I see again, something very bad. So I, I already saw that like many times in Everett's code, I think. So why do you have, 
Okay, in this case, so the code in general, again, it's also very similar. So ever get the, gets things done, so that is good. But it actually works, so that is good. But there are some issues. Screen. Let me try to uh, try to share the full screen. Where was this full display capture? Woo woo woo. This is definitely not what I wanted. Oh no, no, it is actually, I guess. I hope you can see well. Oh no, you don't see well. <laughs> Let me see what I can do. Okay, I definitely need to improve my screen settings. Anyway, yeah, so now, now we're going. Okay, so good, 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 good. So here, <coughs> Here, 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 please never do something like return multiple times. So just if this is a function, which it is the function of this, this part, then it should have one input, one output, no, not some kind of like breaking apart in many parts. <clears throat> so please do not do this um, for the future. So let me also, it seems interesting, few other things. So the object name in screen names, screen names, what is screen names? The result, screen name, object, filter, fil remove duplicates, names, name, in, okay, fine, I guess it works like that, filter, right, we got job done, but um, yeah, it's a, one thing like it's it's not like super, like in general, they might 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 not be that bad to do something like this. It's just that um, it's not very clean. Also, the the way the other major thing here is following. <clears throat> so if you have response, then response should always have the uh, same type of output. Output same type of of output, for example, for example, it would return something like is success false, <clears throat> and then results like empty list, right? And then if this is a true, then it would return, uh, if this is a successful call, then it would just return something like true with actual results. So. This is necessary because uh, the uh, when, when your API will handle the requests, it cannot just return some random stuff. It should be always returning something which is uniform. So that, that is one also thing should be advised here. Okay, but otherwise it's fine. So the scoring, store scores, this definitely doesn't look good. Main call. So definitely function name should not be like that, main. Doesn't make sense. Actually, why it is at all in the function. So if you had previously code like this, you could add it also here. So again, so in short, uh, good, uh, so good, good, good to see that, that uh, Everts is capable of, of, of um, getting things done. It just need to be done a little bit more nicer. So anyways, so, but it's a good job anyway. So uh, that is that part. Okay, let's return back to, 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 our whole, to our today's topic. I know that Rohit also um, submitted work, but we cannot, uh, so I will look at his work probably next time. I think he's quite already um, understands these things, so I hope that there will not be a lot of mistakes there. Uh, it's just that uh, we need to move on today and I will definitely look at the, the work later. So, um, uh, so I myself named functions in the lecture, so they were just uh, templates for testing. They were not actually like, you know, uh, the ma main function doesn't mean that it must be like that. It can be different uh, function, you know, you can change it around. So uh, remember that everything that I showed you, show you in workshops, that doesn't mean that you need to use exactly the same function names like I use in for workshops. They just need to be uh, logical, you know. If I'm doing like very simple example how to do something, then uh, it doesn't mean that it's uh, you just copy the, the same function and use it for a completely different reason. 
that that's only one thing but otherwise you you got job done so that's good so anyways so here what you need to do is following so first of all let's install the uh, let's install the the library so if I have my nine backend where it is nine backend tutorial right so I will install my libraries here cd nine back uh, come on cd cd nine backend tutorial npm pm install so I added already one library extra which is for the sql lite so that is installed. So then the next thing is you see you here have the Space Invaders SQL Lite um, the the database file. So in order to open this, you need to probably install plugin because I think WebStorm automatically does not install that plugin. So I will show you how to do that. So if you go here, preferences, plugins, database database uh, database tools so you see there is one really popular plugin with uh, quite with a third of million downloads so uh, just just install please that plugin and, and restart the id so uh, you need to install this one database tools for webstorm right please install that and then when it's installed you can proceed with the next thing which i'm going to show so this is what we need as well, the, this plugin. So let me ask in the chat, is plugin installed? Plus minus, if there is some issues, let me know in the chat. <clears throat> so, and then when you install the plugin, you will get this uh, uh, side menu here. And then when you double click on uh, on the so there is something strange happening here I need to close probably things so if you double click on the database file it will open just in this panel really nice browser where you can do everything you need with the SQL database so please let me know in the chat you you got so far So then you double click and open the database browser here. I will actually drop this thing. I, I didn't hear where should I find it. Okay, good. Thank you for interacting. So uh, again, I will show you in again. So you need to go in the settings. So there is a tools options or the, uh, the WebStorm. So it's either WebStorm preferences or WebStorm settings or tools settings. This should be this menu, basically where you can uh, select all sorts of things regarding your projects, your languages, your themes, your styles, everything that you want here. And then in, in within this, all of the stuff, there is a plugins. So if you type in here plugins, it will open plugins and then inside the plugins you type in database tools and then this first one is, is the correct one where do you have 300,000 downloads that is the correct one so you, you install that and then it will require to restart the, the web store and then you restart the web store then you double click on this file and it will open in this panel so I see that Everts is done. What about others? So I will wait, hope, wait that you catch up a little bit.
So let me see in the chat. Oh no, we, we got already again the, some stupid bots. Uh, da -da -dum. Mm -hmm. Okay, but at least while I'm fighting the bots, I see that, that you are responding, so that's good. Uh, that's good anyways. Okay, so I will delete them later. Okay, so we are ready to move on. So here uh, in the, this menu, the, there is then very important stuff happening. So you see the tables. So by default, there are some, some default tables, but they are not that important. So you press left click, then you press new, and then in here you get table. So you add a new table. It pops up this menu, which in the bottom part creates a SQL script language so that this is a very easy way to learn how to create the correct SQL language for adding uh, and modifying actually tables or functions or all sorts of things within the SQL database. By the way, you can not only create tables but even uh, functions and procedures which would be uh, run directly in the database. So here let's add uh, the first table which will be called uh, scores. Uh, then we will add a few columns. So one, first one, always the first column is the uh, primary key. So score ID. It's better to call it with a prefix because when we, later when you will have relation, relational database, it starts to mangle up when there are a lot of IDs. Plus also languages like Python and I think even JavaScript, uh, the ID is a reserved keyword. So then you select the next one is the type. So you would call right here, integer. Uh, by the way, types, this is something which is also uh, really uh, like kind of separate topic regarding the databases. There are many different types uh, that are completely different from uh, the JavaScript or Python. So they are basically it's a completely different way how to store information, but there are similarities. For example, integer, of course, we understand what it is, so we can use it. So then uh, primary key, so I check this and check auto increment. So auto increment means that I will not need to enter this value. It will always be entered automatically, so it will count up. So and primary key will, um, measure, will be the, the main field of which I will select um, the rows. And this is also very important because if I want to select very specific row, it must have some kind of key which I always is unique. So I will use this. Then I press add button. Then I add here the, uh, this will be second field will be the name, username, user, or let's say player name, player, player name. So, and then again, there are different types which can be used. So what the easiest would be text type. So, uh, but this this is this is not good because this is uh, usually for the large fo format data inputs. So instead, uh, you, you should use var char with the maximum length of 256. If I, if I would define just char, this would also be possible, but then it will be padded by uh, by empty spaces, which is not not good in this case. So varchar is like dynamic length of string, but it's defined by what is the maximum length of the string. So add, adding that as well. So then the next one will be score, and this will be, I guess, integer. Uh, by the way, for the player, we could also add unique, so that this would be the unique name, but uh, let's maybe not do this now. So there is possible. So if I add it unique, it means that it will not be possible to add two players with the same name. So um, score. Then the next one will be uh, modified. Modified. So this will be a date uh, date time. And by default, this will be current 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 timestamp. So it automatically even fills this this uh, this specific keyword, which can you use to get automatically the current uh, time. So then I will use also created. This will be again date time. By the way, these are very common 
uh, common fields you would add at the end of your tables, which is uh, modified, created, and is deleted. But because in most cases you would not actually want to delete your records, uh, like in reality, just mark them as deleted. So <clears throat> this would be the structure. Uh, so it looks something like this, also the SQL code. Maybe I will scroll it a little bit. No, not like that, so like that, okay. So and I will add this to the Jamboard as well. And if everything is correct, then if I press execute, it creates nice table here. And I, I can see my columns here and everything. And then I, if I double click on the scores, I get also this nice panel where I can add the, uh, the actual data. So, uh, by the way, nothing is showing in DB. Ah, yeah, sorry. I forgot about one key thing here. Um, as Everts is pointing out, you probably need to install also the, the drivers for the database. Uh, so I will wait for you to catch up with this as well. Uh, but uh, the, what we mean by drivers is when you, when you open this, this thing, then you can use this small button where, the, where is the database uh, with, the, with the wrench. And here in this part where is my cursor, in this part there is a button which says install a driver for light SQL. So you need to install that one in order to access all of these cool features. So uh, yeah, please do that. Then you also have on Jamboard right now on slide number four, exact configuration of the database. I will also uh, write down a few things there. So uh, just for, so for your knowledge. So regarding the text types, so what other text types you could use. So, oh man, what is this? Okay, text, <laughs> I don't know why, why, what is it doing? So text types. So there are some options which you can use for, for these uh, SQL databases. Okay, this is strange. Okay, so yeah. So one is just text. So this is for large, uh, for large, large, uh, large uh, data, you know, like, I don't know, like web pages or something like that. Then for, then for fixed, uh, fixed, um, fixed number of characters, you could use just characters with uh, some uh, length, right? Like, I don't know, like 256 or something. And then if you need uh, <clears throat> like names or characters which change the length, then you can use varchar, which means that uh, this, this will be a variable length uh, strings. So this is one, one of those things which we just looked at. So then also there are these um, uh, indexes. So indexes like unique. So unique means that it will ensure that uh, there is always unique uh, uh, value in the field. And also uh, later you can use indexes to improve performance. So it's like a hashing to improve uh, selection speed. So if you have a huge database, then indexes are really important as well. Uh, so that is what we looked at. Then foreign keys, which is also listed here, we're not yet using. So maybe we'll, we can talk about that uh, next time or, or time after that. So, but that is for relational databases, but in general, you can add all of these things here. So let me know in the chat now, is database ready? Plus minus, if you have some more problems, let me know.
the C2 pluses. I hope that Christiana also managed to fix the problem with, uh, with the, 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 the drivers, which I forgot. So I see also uh, Zaf is doing good, so that's good. Uh, so I really hope that Christian also can, can catch up. So I, I, as you see, there are ju just need to carefully add few columns. Like, like you imagine if this is an Excel sheet, right? You're just adding columns, basically. That databases are kind of very similar, like feel to kind of Excel sheets or something like that. So, but they are just optimized for much faster operations and all sorts of interesting queries. So when you open the, the, uh, your, your uh, table by double clicking it on this navigator, you get this nice panel where you can press the add button and then you can just add manually uh, stuff here. You can, also, you can also, of course, delete and edit things. So if I write here my name, so evolts, then I add here some score, 100 points, and I leave default for all of those values. And then I press this arrow button upwards, which is submit or I can control enter. I guess I can press, oh no, just, uh, just submit button. So if I press it, then um, it gets stored. So now in my database, I got, got first record with number ID, num with score ID one and with these values automatically filled. And then if I refresh it with this refresh button, it stays there. And if I would open this file, like again, it will be still, still there. So in uh, other configurations, not file-based SQL like SQL Lite, this would be stored in some other format, like it would be stored in some server where there is no direct access to the file itself. So, but now we have access. So this is the table inside that file. So there we can add more tables if we want, but now we have just only one table here and we can add uh, this record here. If I don't, if I want to read, like delete it, I would just press this minus button up here, I'll press again, submit, and now I don't have the record, so I can add it again. Uh, seven, seven, run. See, my score, my score ID is two, because the first one which I deleted is uh, had number one, and the, the primary key is always increasing. So this is what we have here. So now next, let's let's go inside the code and start using the what we just built. So uh, let's see. So if I want to insert scores, so if I have this function where I want to insert insert scores, uh, then we could just start writing some of the stuff how to do this. <clears throat> the, again, SQL language. There are a lot of things which which should be then uh, you know. We will not be able to, to cover everything at once, but we will try to do this step by step. So let's see. So what would be the best way to, okay. So these are the posts. Okay, this will not be optimal code. Again, I, I hope that uh, in your homeworks, you can build it a little bit better. So let db uh, date, uh, so a new database. I did not include the database. so. I need to include database up here. So import a database from SQL light, better SQL uh, light three, like that. So this is the line that you need to add. I will also add this to the jump board now. So this is the library inclusion line on the slide number five. So that then here in the post insert score. So there, let's 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 write function to insert score. So, so database, um, and then the first one is the file name. So the file name then is the space invaders SQL light uh, like that I guess, and then yeah I think that that would be enough. So We'll add this. Maybe even I should just not split it in two lines. So like that is fine. So this this is the database score sort there. Then next one is we need to create create a query. So let is query from database equals database dot uh, prepare prepare a query. And here in the query <coughs> we will write uh, SQL language code. 
So this is different language than JavaScript, so you need, need to write the code in different language here. So uh, one way to do this would be, uh, so for the insert, so to adding records inside the database, we use insert uh, commands here. So insert into scores, uh, so scores, right? And here will be then the column names. So there will be first one is the player name and the second one is the score. And by the way, maybe I should just write it in multiple lines so that it'll be cleaner. So like that, insert score, then, uh, okay, yeah, then if I, okay, let me keep it in one line, so values. And here, in some languages, you can use uh, something like uh, placeholders, like this, like one or two, and something like that. So please do not use those. Instead, use the named parameters, which is something which uh, can be always linked with some specific key. Otherwise, <clears throat> you might have later, when you change something in the code, it might give you strange results. So here, if I use the same name for named parameters, Maybe I should even specify it somehow. So I'm just showing you that it's, it's possible to have it a different name here. So this will be just name and score. So like that. <clears throat> By the way, if I would want to write the same thing directly in the SQL, I could do that as well. So just, just you don't need to write it just this now, but I just want to show you. So. If I'm, if I'm now pressing here where there is some button, which is the, this, this button with the, with the console query, so it opens this console, and I can write directly some code inside this uh, panel. So the panel is, is here on the top right side. And I can write direct SQL code myself without the JavaScript. So I can test out, so this will be test user with the score of 99. And then if I select this line and press enter, it executes. And if I look at the table, press refresh, you see I get the second table, second row here. And I, go, I, and I executed this manually using this uh, query language panel, which is uh, also built in in this plugin, where you can play around with SQL language and write all sorts of queries which you want to test out before writing inside JavaScript. So that's quite important actually. So I will uh, try to point out where you can find this console and test out yourself the queries before coding them into JavaScript because otherwise if there are some problems with the JavaScript, it's, it would be uh, much harder to debug. So <clears throat> I added that. So let's move back to the, the original code which I started writing here. So, so far I have written only two lines here, so you don't worry. So that is that. <clears throat> so then uh, the, uh, what else we need here? So there will be the let result. Uh, so from query, query, uh, run. And here I want to pass something within the query. So I want to pass some kind of uh, information there. So I could write here then name would be something which will come actually from request body. So let's say even the request body, I could create also just name or username or something else. And then in request body, I also could create the score. So now I'm uh, getting the values actually from HTTP post from the insert function where the values are in request uh, variable and then in body and then in name and score and adding them. So the, after I add those, those values, it'd be nice to return also not only that, uh, so we could actually write it in two steps. So here we can write that the, by default, the return would be false. And then we can add here try catch. By the way, try catch is very important in your code. You should always add try catch. So this is catching the errors. So console error E so I could Write, get, write that error. 
So, and in case if everything goes well, then for the response, I want to say is success true. Uh, and also I want to add the, um, uh, the score ID. So we could add here score ID by default, this is zero. And if this is a successful, then I can send back my client the score ID, which would come from results. And there is a, a last, uh, there is a speci specific function which you can find in documentation of the better SQL light, which is called a last insert row ID, I think like that. Double check. Yes, it is. So uh, there is also, I think, missing a weight somewhere. So th is this a async function or not async function? Mm, yeah, these are not async functions. So I guess I don't need uh, a weight at all. That's interesting. Anyway, so these are not async functions here. So. I hope that this part of the code would work. Again, this part of code is the SQL language, which we will dis discuss more. But this part of prepare database and run and uh, last record, so all of those functions are coming from this new library, which is uh, called better SQL light tree. So you can uh, look up documentation for those those uh, those functions. So look up documentation and then for the for the SQL for SQL look v uh, 3 schools uh, tutorials how to, how to manipulate SQL so that is another part so I will try to now copy all of this code to the jump board and try it let's let's try it out if it works actually so this will be on the slide number six. <clears throat> and to test it out, let's use the Postman uh, application, which I recommended you to download. So the Postman is this one. So in the Postman application, you press the, here the, the plus button, you get uh, this interface. Okay, I just realized I did not run yet the server. <laughs> So inside here, we press terminal and make sure that you are in the correct directory, right? And then you type in npm run start. Then it says server is running on this port, right? On this, uh, this link. So if I take this link now, and I also will need not only this link, but I will need insert score as well here. So I take those two variables, I move to the postman. Where is the postman? Here I copy in this one. Make sure that when you copy the strings in postman, you don't copy accidentally new line or something. I think, I don't know why, but they made it so sensitive to any kind of characters. So you just copy that. Um, uh, that, uh, that that link that you have. So maybe I should also share this link to the jump board so somebody is not confused what exactly needs to be run. I also will copy the command to run actually the server. So to run server, you would use npm run start. Mm -hmm. Let me copy that part as well in the bottom tab terminal. Of course, you can use your own terminal or what you like, but this is most easiest way. So uh, as you see, WebStorm has a lot of tools which makes, makes it a lot easier to manage all the things. So this one is here. So then we sc click body here and the body we choose, uh, we choose raw and we choose Java or uh, not um, JSON. Yeah, Jason. So, and then we can write here actually the code. So this will be name, uh, new 
user and the score will be score will be 88 for example and if I press send I need also to change to post because it was to, originally it was set to get but it must be post you already see that there are a lot of ways for what, what you can do with HTTP requests that are not just get and post but those are the most important ones so you see it added new record and it says that the new record score ID is this one so I will copy this part of the postman so you can configure it yourself as well I will specifically add arrows what needs to be done so this one this one this one this one just a second I will add this to the jump board this one so and then you can send it so I'm dropping this to the jump board showing you how it looks like yeah so you need to configure a few these these few things you say that I want to have a post not get type of message I need to post this message to this particular URL then I need to fill the row body with the JSON that I just wrote or what will come from the game and then I will need to set that this body will be in JSON format and then at the end I need to send it make sure that you accidentally do not add some kind of uh, spaces or new lines at the end of this this uh, string or in the front because then it will not work so so far it also works really nice on the server side for me so this is for inserting data so let me know in the chat is insert data working plus minus if you have any problems let me know in the chat and if you have any questions of course type in then I will definitely go slower as well So I see only Everts has completed this. Mm, what should I wait more? What other what other what problems do you have, others? Let me go back to the code here. So this is our code. It's running in the uh, the uh, uh, directory with npm run start. I created the local host then I created all of these uh, these messages in postman then I send this message then it got added to the database if I uh, refresh it you see I get my new user added here so it's working and if I would post again it would add new user so that's good 
so at least two people are done. So I hope others will catch up a little bit later. So <coughs> then let's write the select part of the code. So for getting the scores, okay? So here will be again by default false and let's add here the, uh, so this will be then scores list like that. Again, keeping the idea that the structure will be the same always, just to change the data, right? Um, also, 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 often much better idea just writing dictionaries would be to create actual classes that would be then um, populated with data and then converted to JSON, right? This is, would be much better. So now let's write the try catch here. So try catch like that. Uh, so then will be console uh, error D. Like that. Uh, and yeah, and then let's write the select here. So this will be then uh, so the uh, again core so that we need database again so we can actually copy some some stuff of this uh, it could be definitely improved by by moving this part to the separate function but of but remember you cannot just move this part in uh, in the root uh, root uh, values here if you will do that it will be very bad because the uh, the requests to the server should be asynchronous, right? I can do like 10 requests at the same time to the server. So, and if I have 10 requests same time to the server, this cannot be located here. It, it must be uh, uh, created for each request separately. So remember that if this is not clear, then, then definitely write in the chat and ask because uh, like uh, it, you cannot use global variables uh, easily when you have multiple parallel requests coming in. So, and also if this would be, uh, actually for light SQL, it might also be even problem. I mean, we might have need to have locks, file locks here. If, if I would add uh, like proper, uh, like a Node.js cluster, uh, because otherwise the, it would just try to write in this database to two recordings at the same time. Of course, if I would use different database, not SQLite, it, it, it might not be a problem at all. Like for example, Postgres SQL works nice with the, with the multi-processing. So uh, that was one thing. So here let's write uh, then the get score. So this will be then uh, select. So what we want to select from the uh, from the database, one option is to select everything. So we can select everything by star, or we can select some specific uh, columns as well. So select this uh, from score, and we can write maybe some specific columns. So we can even write like just uh, the, uh, what was our columns? So the player name and score. So let's select only those two columns. And then we can have where, basically we can say uh, what we want to select. So let's try to write that we want to select only where the score is larger than zero. So that is one. Then we can also have the order uh, by uh, score and the uh, in decreasing order. So we can add all of this thing. There's a lot of things you can modify in select so they are very powerful. You can even have selects with selects, the groupings and all sorts of um, like many, many options you can do with this. So, and you also of course can, can, can pass some, uh, some parameters. Maybe you should add even that. So let's add here, uh, so threshold, threshold. So this will be a parameter which I want to add or pass here. So we can have then uh, let result uh, query, uh, query all. So again, this all function is something which is included in the uh, better SQL light tree. 
So that is that. And then here the threshold. So we can pass the threshold as an integer value. So everything above this value, which is now placed in this SQL string, will be returned. So we get the results. So, and then we can, maybe it's even not results, but uh, we can even write directly like this probably, result response scores like this. And then afterwards we can write response is success true, like that. So if this code is correct, we should get working, uh, by the way, there's, we could add even more. So we can add here then limit for only top 10. So just, just return only top 10. Uh, I hope that this, this uh, query is fine. We can actually test this query. We can go to the console here. And if I'm trying to test this query, if I run it, yes, it works. So this works. So now I'm adding all of this to the jump board. Uh, slide number eight. So this is added then to the jump board. And now, of course, we, we want to test if this is working actually in the postman. So where's the postman here? Uh, so of course I could do this in Axios as well, right? I can do in JavaScript game, I can also have these uh, requests, right? You already understand that. So if I change here to get scores, then I'm need to, actually it doesn't matter what I send here, but if I even set it to none, send it, I get my scores nice and ready here. You see, I got everything running here very, really well. So that part is working. So now we're a little bit running out of time, so I will uh, maybe show you a few other things. What we have here is the the lead score, I don't see that. So you will need to write uh, yourself home uh, the option to insert score. And when, when it, you already have the player there, then you need to update the, the, uh, the score. So you will need to look at the update function in SQL. But uh, for deleting score, we can use this part. So let's try to write deleting part as well. So let me try to write it, so false. Mm, so let's select them here, try. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that I didn't share my code. So for deleting part, let's write to this one. Uh, so catch. This will be, I guess, quite easy. Uh, like that. And then here we can write delete, delete. Mm. So what was the delete syntax? Usually you don't use this syntax, delete from, right? Delete from scores where, uh, where the, the, the name of player, player name uh, equals the name. And then here we can get its name from the request, right? Request, so like that. And hopefully that's about it, so it should work then. So I will add this also to the jump board so you can test it out later that you can delete records with this, this query. So, and for home, uh, you will need to create uh, the, uh, the, again, the function that uh, if I want to insert the score, if I already have my name in the list in the database, I want then to update my score instead of, um, instead of uh, uh, inserting new score. Uh, so you would use the update function and then for the update function, uh, please use also that, uh, make sure that modified time is also updated. 
uh, that's one. And then I will think maybe some other homework uh, regarding these SQL themes. So it would be also really nice and cool if you can then connect your game to this uh, interface so that you make sure that your game actually works with, with this backend. Uh, so that's, that's, I think that's about it for today. I think next time we should look a little bit more regarding databases. I will think some, in, some more interesting tasks. We can play around here with databases. And then afterwards, I think, uh, you know, because some of you are not as, uh, as advanced uh, right now at this moment, maybe I should try to do another game with you so we could, we could make a new, new game from scratch. Maybe you have good ideas what, what game you want to create. So that'd be fun. I will add maybe that a question to the next homework where you can vote for what game you want to create actually. So it should be some kind of arcade game, really simple one. So that's it about for today and uh, we'll meet next week. Bye bye.